What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're going to jump in and talk about how to get weapons and armor from the menagerie, and this time we're going to talk specific combinations that you'll need to pick up the rewards. And this includes things like the new IS Luna styled hand cannon, or stringer, as well as the other traditional weapons like Drang Barok, the new machine gun, and more from the menagerie. So we'll explain how things work in this video guys, let's get into it. Do have to say a big thanks to my friends Jav and Easy. They've helped me no end in kind of figuring out how this stuff works and getting access to some of these weapons, but also to the community as always for helping to collect a lot of this information. So to get weapons like this one, you will need some upgrades on your chalice, and there are a few that you can kind of go about in different ways, and I broke these down with the kind of best routes and a general guide to the chalice in a previous video. So if you're kind of wondering what the hell is going on, you can check that one out linked below. But to get all of the weapons and armor, you'll initially need the first two middle chalice slots upgraded. So these are the ones in the center, but you'll also need the rune compatibility slots, and they will tell you which weapons they actually reward. So before you can get the hand cannon, for example, you'll need to unlock rune compatibility two, which allows green runes to start dropping, and equally, before you can get shotguns or fusion rifles, you will need to unlock rune compatibility three on the bottom left, and this is just for the weapons. If you want to earn new opulent armor, you'll also need blue runes unlocked before that is possible. So to summarize, the first two chalice slots in the center, or the gear and archetype slots, and then the bottom three compatibility slots, are all we actually need to get specific loot drops. The third slot in the middle for Masterworks simply adds the option to define the stat bonus of gear, otherwise the configuration of runes in the first two slots will stay the same. And you can randomly slot, you know, a rune which will grant you an SMG, or a shotgun in the top slot, and then complete Menagerie, but whenever you do that, you will be pulling from a pool of, like, four different potential weapons. And so knowing these combinations does remove that element of RNG. So to cover the weapons, there are different colored runes that go in the top slot, and these define the weapon type, and then runes in the second slot, which define the archetype and specific drops. So for the SMG, the Callus Mini Tool, it does require a purple rune of the beast in the top slot. And remember, you can always check the tooltip to make sure you have the right weapon or archetype. So you will need the rune of the beast for an SMG and not an armor piece and make sure that this is the same for all of the weapons. But you combine the rune of the beast at the top with any purple rune in the second slot, and when you open the chest, you will get a randomly rolled version of the Callus Mini Tool. For the Sniper Rifle Beloved, we will need a purple rune of Jubilation, Remember, it needs to say Sniper in the tooltip, but then also any red rune, since this defines the adaptive archetype of the Sniper. So that will grant you the new Sniper Beloved. Then there is the Machine Gun. This is the new one, Fixed Odds. And to get this, players need to combine a red rune of Ambition. This grants power weapons, but then a blue rune in slot two, which will specify the Fixed Odds actually drops. Now the Hand Cannon, or Stringer, is gonna drop when you slot a Rune of Desire in the top slot, with a red rune in slot two. Any red rune will do, and you will get a random roll of the new hand cannon. The sidearm also unlocks with green runes, so if you slot a rune of pride with any purple rune in slot two, you'll get the Drang Barok, which is the updated version with random perks. So that leaves blue rune weapons. The fusion rifle will require a rune of excess, and if you combine this with a green rune in slot two, you'll get the Epicurean fusion rifle. Now the shotgun will need a rune of wealth, and this is the blue rune for shotguns, combined with any green rune in slot 2 once again. So those are the kind of traditional weapon combinations for new weapons. There are also three swords, one for each class, and they are linked to Menagerie, but it appears that we'll possibly need to have a masterwork or fully upgraded chalice before we can get those, so I'll keep you updated on that. And there are other farmable weapons and armor pieces from Menagerie, so you can farm the Dustrock Blues or Parcel of Stardust shotguns with the shotgun rune, Erentil with fusion runes, the Trust Hand Cannon, Bad Omens, Twilight Oath, and then there are other armor sets in here as well, which include the Tangled Web, Exodus Down, and Reverie Dawn armor sets, and all of these can be reliably farmed in Menagerie. And one of the best spreadsheets that I've seen for this comes from BunnyBot on Raid Secrets Reddit, because it has literally all of the combinations in that list. So I'll link that one down below if you want a full combo guide and you want to go and farm other weapons that aren't just DLC weapons here. But for Opulence armor specifically, as I mentioned, it does require blue runes to be unlocked. 
Once you've got blue runes ready, you simply combine the armor type in the top slot, so a rune of cunning will drop gauntlets, the rune of gluttony is for boots, rune of joy will roll class items, rune of pleasure is for chest pieces, and the rune of war is for helmets. If you combine any of these in slot 1 with a blue rune in slot 2, then you'll get opulence armor with random perks. Once again, you can then freely use the masterwork slot when you have it to apply the element resistance or a masterwork stat in the case of weapons. Regardless of that though, the first two slots will always stay the same. Another thing to add is that whenever you're using these combinations, you can use the exploit that allows you to open the chest multiple times inside of one run. So when Menagerie ends, there's around 300 seconds left on the timer until the activity actually takes you back to orbit. So essentially, if you do a run and you've got some runes slotted in to get a reward, you complete the run, open the chest, and you get your loot. Then you need to run to a separate loading zone of the new menagerie area in Leviathan. So the quickest way is to go out of the back, past where the chest is, follow the route that you can see on screen, basically until you get to the opening section again, and you'll see that the section of the map is actually named here. Once you get here, you can pop some more runes in, and that includes any of the combinations that we're talking about in this video, so you could literally do a run where you go pick up the SMG, then the hand cannon, and an armor piece, all in one go, right? You have that 300 second window to actually do it. Either way, once you've slotted new runes in for the second time, you simply run back to the chest, Open it, you'll get loot, and you can repeat until you run out of time, or indeed runes. And yes, I would anticipate Bungie will probably attempt to fix this in one way or another soon. And there we have it. For the bulk of Menagerie's loot table, we kind of know how it works now. I will link that spreadsheet. It's definitely a pretty good way to kind of go through these different codes. Big shout out to the community as always. Many people have kind of helped gathering this info, but specifically to BunnyBot as well for the clearest spreadsheet that I've seen so far. So pretty excellent work on that. And there will probably be a ton of questions about earning runes and imperials and things like that in the comment section of this video. And because it is kind of a complicated system, that's why it's taken a little bit of time to figure out. So if you kind of want to know how to get imperials, runes dropped, and also specific upgrades to take on the chalice, because while having configuration slots unlocked initially will get you new loot, there are other perk options that you might want to go for instead that can give you more imperials on a weekly basis or something. And ultimately that might allow you to actually upgrade the chalice quicker than if you go for the option that's going to get you loot right now. So that's definitely worth bearing in mind. And if you're starting this process, I would recommend and checking it out. But to talk briefly about the weapons, of course Drank is very much like it was originally. It does have some new bonuses on it, so we can actually roll Underdog from D1, where the weapon gains a boost to reload speed as your health gets lower. It can get full auto and swashbuckler, so some interesting rolls. Ostringer is a pretty interesting hand cannon to use. It does feel kind of similar to Ice Luna, not identical, but it is 140 rounds per minute. It's capable of rolling things like Outlaw, Subsistence, Air Assault, Eye of the Storm, Triple Tap, and Snapshot Sights in the first column. It can get Rangefinder, Demolitionist, Rampage, Underdog, Zen Moment, and Opening Shot. And you do have things like Accurized Rounds in the Ballistics, so I haven't spent a ton of time with it just yet, but it could be a pretty solid weapon with the right roll. It's a shame that it doesn't have things like Kill Clip. I showed off the SMG and the Sniper Rifle a little bit in my previous video. Many of you guys have probably seen those because they are the slightly easier weapons to obtain, but Fixed Odds is a pretty cool machine gun because it's the first high-impact machine gun in D2. It can come with Feeding Frenzy, which is one of my favorite bonuses for a machine gun. It can get the perk No Distractions, where aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch, so that's definitely different, but it also has Rampage, Underdog, Surrounded, Rangefinder, Firmly Planted, and Tap the Trigger in that second slot. Certainly doesn't feel bad, and personally I haven't had the opportunity to try the shotgun or the fusion rifle yet, but I'll definitely be working to upgrade the chalice right here, I'm using my friend Easy's account, but I will definitely work to upgrade that chalice. Me and my friends Easy and Jav have been kind of using multiple different accounts and collecting information from all over the place, so once again, I very much appreciate the help from those guys, but I think that pretty much sums up what we need to talk about in terms of loot. I'll keep you posted on the situation with the swords, or any other things that I've discovered about how Menagerie's loot table and the chalice works, but it's looking like on the most part, we sort of have it sussed out by now. So guys, if you have enjoyed the video, a like below is very much appreciated. Let me know any weapons that you're really trying to hunt down at the moment, or any awesome rolls of them that you pick up. Of course, the really cool thing about this system is the ability to farm so many different types of gear in the game, so you know, it totally is a super efficient farm for God Roll, Aaron Tills, Dust Rock Blues, whatever it may be, you know, and that's on top of the new stuff. So I personally think this is the best 
annual pass activity that we've actually had so far, especially when you combine the kind of progression and the loot table for it. Hopefully, we'll see more of this and even better in the future, but I'm rambling, man. If you guys have enjoyed the video, be sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Otherwise, good luck with the hunt in Menagerie, and for now, I hope you all have an awesome day.